So if you've reached this far, you're probably wondering how you can create your own images. Now, there is a library of images in VideoScribe, and it's a good library, but as I mentioned before, there's a lot of different styles. So if you have even a tiny bit of artistic ability, or like me, you can draw a stick figure, uh, you can create your own images. Um, the other trick is you can actually trace an image, and I'll talk about that later in another tutorial. But basically for here, I've just got a little stick figure. I'm going to show you how he plays. So you notice that it drew his arms last. So I want to be able to um, draw this image and I want to be aware of the order in which it's being drawn. And one of the tools you can use if you're not using Adobe Illustrator is Inkscape and it's an open source uh, vector graphics editor that which obviously is free uh, and it allows you to create the scalable vector graphic or SVG image. Another tool I sometimes use, which is an Android-based tool, is Skedio. So on your phone or tablet, uh, and there'll be comparable ones in Apple or iOS. And these, uh, th these tools allow you to do simple sketching um, and saving it as an SVG. So the key is to find SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphics, uh, software or applications. So I'm just going to switch over to Adobe Illustrator because that's the thing I use most often. And I'm going to show you how it's going to draw. So right now, every time I draw a stroke, so for instance the left, I'm just going to change the color of this so you can see it a bit better. Maybe to magenta. So there's the body, then the one leg, the other leg, and then we get into the head. And I want you to notice here there's a lot of little points here. So if you use any graphics editing program, you know that these points uh, are allow you, would allow you to shape an object uh, on a page, or on a screen. So the more points you have, the slower something will draw. Then I get the eyes. Then I all of a sudden go back down to an arm, and then the other arm is the next one, and then finally the mouth. So I want to move those arms to draw before the head. So I'll just select them and move them down here. I'm going to save this image. I'm going to save it as an SVG, so a scalable vector graphic. I'm going to save over, over what I already have. And I'm going to make sure that when I'm saving it, and I don't know why, but I just make sure that the type of font is going to be an SVG. And most importantly, I want to preserve the Illustrator editing capability so I can come back to it later on and edit it if I need to. So I'll just click on OK. And then if I go back to VideoScribe, I'll just re-import. and watch the difference. So now it'll draw the arms and the legs, then finally the head, and then the body, and so on. So that's a little bit better. So if you're using a tool like Sketio or Inkscape, you can use your mouse to draw, but you can also use a, a stylus on a tablet. So one of the tools that people often use is a company called Wacom, or Wacom, and I'll put that in the description of the video below. And you can use a pen, and I'll show you a little quick video of me doing it here, just drawing a couple of lines. So this allows you to have more freedom, uh, although depending on what you're doing, uh, the mouse will usually work pretty well on its own. Now just to show you here, you have the ability to add extra points. So right now the arm has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 points. If I wanted to slow down the drawing of the arm or the leg, I can go over to the tool here to add extra points. This is your Bezier tool. And I can just start adding extra points. And that will significantly slow down, I always do that, significantly slow down the drawing. And the placement of them as well is, it makes a difference. And I'll show you in another example in a second what that does. So I'm going to flip over here to something called line test. So I'm going to run this in um, VideoScribe so you can see what it looks like. And I've got a series of straight lines and a couple of curved lines. So I'm just going to quickly show you that the one at the top has very few points. And it starts, you can start getting more points as you go down in the successive lines. And then as you draw curves, look what happens when I get to these more complex curves. OK, so let's have a look at that in Illustrator. So here's the same thing. So here's the first image. And I'm just going to change again this color to red so you can see, or magenta so you can see it more easily. If I switch to the direct selection tool, it may be hard to see. There's one point there, and then I've got one point here, and one point here, and one point here, and then two on the end, obviously. And then more points along here. So it's going to slow down, and they're fairly evenly spaced. And then as I go along, more and more and more points, so that, every again, that point slows the drawing down. 
and then more points. And then when I get to this curve here, you'll notice if you're familiar with Illustrator, you have the Bezier tool and you're allowed to actually, you can use this these handles to change the angle and the depth and so on of your curve. So that's one of the reasons I like using Illustrator in some cases. Now it's a little fiddly. Sometimes it's easier to draw freehand. And then finally this one down here, you'll notice that some of the curves have just a couple of points, but this one over here has lots and lots and lots, and that's the one that drew the slowest when we were looking at it in Video Scribe. So if you're drawing a simple object like a square or a circle, and I'll just go give you an example there, if I just simply use the circle tool, the ellipse tool, and I draw a circle, then I have automatically four points. So that'll draw pretty quickly. If I go over to the Add Point tool, I can go in here and add extra points, which will slow down the drawing. So if I just add them on two sides here, and I'm just going to quickly save this and I'm going to bring you into um, VideoScribe in a second, so just wait till I do that. Okay, I've just brought us into, into VideoScribe, so I'm going to play the preview from this object that I've just imported. And you notice the first half drew really quickly and the second half drew fairly slowly, and that's because, again, all the points I put were up here. Now if I just zoom in a little bit to show you more detail, and again, what color do I have these? I'll make them again magenta so it's easier to see. There we are. So I'm going to put a whole lot of points down here, like lots and lots and lots and lots on one side. And in this last quarter of the image over here, I'm going to put some really, really close together. and then one here, and one here. So I'm just going to save that, and I'll bring it back into video, video, video scribe. Okay, I've extended the draw time a little bit, so you can see a bit more clearly. So we've got slow, faster, really slow. So the way you put the points will determine how your pen draws. So if you want a really realistic drawing, you may want people to spend more, the draw, hand to spend more time drawing around curves, or less time drawing around curves. So the alternate, of course, would be that if you need to sort of save some time, take away of the few of the points around a curve to make it draw faster rather than what naturally would have occurred if you just left it as is. So just to recap what we've done today, we've looked at the draw time, which is what we were just looking at with the number of points that you see when you're looking at an image. We also looked at the different types of tools that you can use. So you have Inkscape, you have Sketio, and of course you have Adobe Illustrator. And we also looked at the uh, order in which that you draw, order in which you draw. So again, if I'm drawing an object, it makes sense to draw the body first, maybe, and then the head, and then finally the face. Or maybe I would draw the head first, then the body, and then finally the face. So if you're in Illustrator or Inkscape, it's the order in which they appear from the earliest object to the latest object. So those are some things to think about. Uh, in the next module I'm going to go more into the SVG and I'm going to show you some ways that with absolutely no artistic ability <laughs> you can actually create um, some pretty good images using um, your illustrations or something maybe a friend of yours drew.